Part 14. We are going to look at the practical examples of fractions. You will find this on page 17 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Practical examples of fractions. A number line from 0 to 2 is divided into 7 equal segments. What fraction is at point A? Okay. What fraction is at point B? So basically, 1, 2, 3 out of 7, because it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 3 out of 7, and the total is 2. So I multiply off 2, off means multiply. And remember, I follow the rules of multiplication. Top times top, so 3 times 2, that's 6. 7 times 1, it's 7. So the answer will be 6 over 7. Okay. If we look at the next one, at B, it will just be 4 out of 7 because it's 1, 2, 3, 4 times 2, and uh, it's top times top, so 4 times 2, it's 8, 7 times 1 is 7, and I can make it a mixed fraction. Okay, I want you to do triangle 60, number 1 and 2. Stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Try now 16. Okay, number one. A line of length four, so this is now not two, but four, is divided into nine equal segments. Find a fraction to describe the length A, B. Okay, so if I look at this, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But B will just be one, two, three. So I'm just going to say it's three out of the nine, and I'm going to multiply it by 4. Put it over 1. Okay, I can cross, but it's not working out. So I can just say top times top, which is 12. Bottom times bottom, which is 9. And that will give me, if I make it a mixed number, it's giving me 1 and a third. Okay, so what fraction? 1 and a third, or I can even simplify it to 4 over 3. Okay. Number two, Brendan has a vegetable garden plot of 26 and a quarter meters square in size. He plants one fifth of with beans and wants to plant mohongu on the rest of the plot. What fraction of the plot will be planted with mohongu? Calculate the area you have for mohongu. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is we have to describe. Remember the full plot is representing 1. That's 100%. So if this is 1 out of 5, the full plot is representing 5 over 5. So if I subtract 1 over 5, I'm left with 4 over 5. So this will be representing 4 over 5. Because if I add it up, I will get 5 over 5, which is representing 1. So the first answer will just be, I take 1 and I subtract that 1 over 5 and I'm getting an answer of 4 over 5. If I look at number B, calculate the area you will have for Mohongu. So basically, I'm just working out the fraction now. So it's that 4 over 5 and I multiply it with the total area and that's 26 and a quarter. Now, this is a multiplication sum. So I make it an improper fraction. So I'm going to say 26 times 4 plus that 1 is going to give me 105 over 4. And now, remember, you can cancel out. So it go in one time. That was a 4. It go in one time. 5 can go in one time. Um, and this can go in 21 times. So if I multiply, I say 1 times 21, and that's 21 and that will be 21 square meter. So calculate the area. So uh, for Mohangu, Mohangu will take up 21 square meter. 